Hi guys, it's Gimme Green 17 and I'm here with my new hamster, T-Rex. I got him three weeks ago, if you haven't seen his introduction video, please go check it out. In this video I wanted to talk a bit more about him, so while I do the talking you can enjoy him playing in the playpen. T-Rex is a male Syrian hamster, short haired, and his coloring is called Black Poly White Dominant Spot Bandit. It basically means he's a black hamster with three different markings on him. Because he has three different markings, he looks more white than black. But I assure you, he's not white with black markings. He's black with a lot of white markings. I think that's really special. First, he has a poly white marking. It's a large white marking that covers almost the whole body. It only leaves some spots and freckles of the original color. This marking is sometimes called Dalmatian. Next, he's a dominant spot. This means he has white dots on his body. These cover most of the black freckles left from the poly white marking. So that's why he hasn't many black markings left. And the last marking that he has is called Bandit. This creates a white band around his middle. This marking removed even more of the black spots and that's why he hasn't any spots around his middle. Only some left on his face and on his bum. But he's not impressed by any of this. It basically means that he's really cute. T-Rex was born on the 28th of February. I got him from an excellent breeder here in the Netherlands. I am definitely not a fan of buying pets at a pet store. If you have the option to buy pets at a good breeder, please do so. Pets in stores are mainly bred to be sold, so their main focus is to make them look cute. That can mean they have poor health, they also can experience a lot of stress in the store because there are so many people looking at them all the time and there's so much going on. Children knocking on the glass. Most hamsters from pet stores are hard to tame and easily stressed. This can cause into biting. Also, because they experience a lot of stress, this can also give them health problems in the future. Here in the Netherlands there are many excellent breeders and they know what they're doing. They select on health first, that's what's most important. Healthy hamsters with great lifespans. Then they select on personality. It's important for them to breed hamsters that are curious, friendly and easy to tame. And last, they select on appearance. Not appearance first, like some pet stores do. So if you're able to, please avoid buying pets from stores who only want to make a profit. You can also search for shelters and adopt pets. If there's a shelter nearby, check if they have hamsters. That's also a lovely thing to do. Another benefit of ordering a hamster at a breeder is that a good breeder really knows what he or she's doing. They have the right size cage, they take good care of the mother, they make sure the mother takes good care of her pups and they separate the young ones at the right age at the right time. You get to see your little one grow up. Breeders take a lot of pictures and it really helps to create a strong bond with your hamster before you even have picked it up. You know your hamster's exact date of birth, you know your hamster's gender, and when you can finally go pick up your hamster at the right age, they can give you tons of information about your new hamster and hamsters in general. The only downside is that the good breeders are popular and sometimes you have to wait. They place you on their waiting list and once it's your turn you can choose a hamster. I searched for a good breeder for a long time because I wanted to make sure I found a good Syrian hamster breeder. After I found one, I contacted her and she placed me on her list. She was so nice and it immediately felt right. I saw the cutest hamsters ever pop up, but I had to wait because there were many people before me. The little ones were all so cute. When it was finally my turn to choose, a new litter was born and I was so curious what colors they were going to be. Then she posted pictures of the little ones. And when I saw T-Rex, it was love at first sight. He was adorable and I emailed her immediately to ask if I could choose him. Although it was my time to choose a hamster, the breed herself always has the first choice. But she emailed me back that he was mine. Yay! So now I had to wait until he was old enough to pick him up. 
And there he is, my new hamster, T-Rex. I named him T-Rex because I just love it when a hamster stands on its back legs. They all look like little dinosaurs, so cute. I knew I was going to name him T-Rex even though I didn't know if he liked to stand on his back legs too. But when I was picking him up at the breeder, the first thing I saw him doing was standing like a little T-Rex. He lives up to his name. And that's T-Rex's story. I hope you all liked the video. Thanks for watching, bye!